Hey everybody, welcome to another review. I got a request to uh, test uh, Panda Internet Security 2010 and I looked over my videos and I realized that I never tested the Internet Security version of it. So I went online, downloaded the newest version, uh, updated it. It's version 15.01.00. It's got the newest signatures. I was kind of looking at the settings um, to see what it kind of offered. And it's got known threats, which is all the signatures. Then it's got unknown threats, and it looks like it has the behavior analysis. Here's stick scan. And um, it looks for dangerous files through your email attachments and script files. Comes with the firewall identity protection, vulnerabilities, and anti-spam. It also comes with maintenance and of course the automatic updates. So let's uh, give it a whirl here, see what it can do. As we all know, it's all about unknown threats today, not known threats. So I would hope that um, they can couple what they got from their uh, cloud security with their behavior analysis and all that stuff and come up with a good suite here. So we'll see how it works. Okay, so it, del it uh, found that one. seen anything with that one. Okay, it looks like I got that one, and it did. The, beha the uh, web blocker. And I got that one. And I got that one. And that one. Okay, I know that one doesn't work. Looks like I got that one. Looks like we got some kind of browser redirect thing going on here. It said a uh, unknown virus uh, had been blocked. Just gonna do a couple more here. Looks like I got that one too. This one's still waiting for something. Hmm, looks like uh, locked up. Oh, nope. Still waiting on whatever that's doing, so I'm going to pause the video here while I'm waiting for the computer to catch up. Okay, it looks like the computer locked up, so I'm going to have to do a force restart. And I'll be back. I'm going to restart, and then I'm going to do a scan with Panda. See if it finds anything. So I'll be back then. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> Panda 
did a whole system scan and it found some temporary internet files but then it also found a couple of DLLs, um, suspicious files and it quarantined everything so I'm gonna restart and I'm gonna run CCleaner and then I'm gonna run Malwarebytes so I'll be back when Malwarebytes is done scanning okay so I ran um, CCleaner, got rid of whatever it had and I, now I ran Malwarebytes and it looks like it found eight things Let's check it out. See what uh, it has here. Has that Trojan TDSS uh, memory process and files and uh, some registry key changes. So we will remove those. And uh, I'm going to restart. And I'm going to restart because there's a memory process. I want to get it out of memory. And then I'll be back after uh, Hitman Pro scans. So I'll see you then. Okay, so. Uh, Hitman finished scanning here and uh, didn't find anything but as you saw Malwarebytes did so um, combine that with um, having to pay for Panda and fairly high memory usage I still wouldn't recommend it um, there's suites out there that do better they just need to improve on their zero day security they just don't, um, they haven't improved enough on that. Um, they did improve a lot since the last time I tested them, but they still need some more work. Other than that, um, let me just show you here what kind of RAM usage we got. The computer itself doesn't seem too slow, um, which is good, and RAM usage is okay it could be a little bit better they do have a lot of processes though it'd be nice if they could condense these processes into one or a couple of different things but eh, it is what it is so that's it for this review i'm going to move on to my next one and i'll talk to everybody later take care